What's going on gamers, it's your boy I Maverick back with more Madden 13 news and actually the hottest Madden 13 news to date. Most of you guys already know E3 kicked off today and because of that EA Sports knew they had to go hard and drop some big information you know, to go with the big event that is E3. And in my opinion, I think they did that. I think they gave us some really good content as far as video, you know, a little bit of gameplay, but mainly the information as far as updates for this next year's game. But I'm going to share it with y'all let, let you know, and let me know what you think. Two major updates they announced. One was a game mode. One, I guess, is a feature. And that first one is the new Infinity Engine, which is real-time physics brought to Madden 13. Now, I covered that in more detail in another video. The link to that is in the description and annotation on the screen if you want to check that out. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting the new game mode they announced that is Connected Careers. Now, I know what you're thinking because I know how to read minds a little bit. You're like, all right, what the hell is Connected Careers? Well, I'm going to tell you. Basically, Connected Careers is if, let's say, Superstar Mode, online franchise and offline franchise, all went to the club, got drunk, went back to Superstar Mode's crib and had a crazy, freaky, you know, orgy with sex toys and everything. And then somehow there was a weird triple pregnancy that went on and a baby was birthed that baby would be connected careers, all right? Now, you may be thinking, all right, now how do all of those fit together? I, I'm gonna do my best to explain it in as short a time as possible and not try to ramble too much. I got a lot of notes, and I'm gonna try to give you guys the features first as, as, as quickly as possible, and then I'll kind of go over some of the scenarios that are possible with all this coming together, all right? So in short, you know, to sum it all up in a sentence, now this is EA's quote, not mine, but they tried to create the first true sports RPG. And if everything plays out the way they're saying, it's saying it, you know, if everything plays out how they want it to, I really believe that they've done that. And for those who don't know what an RPG is, that's a role-playing game. You know, a game like Skyrim or World of Warcraft where you take a character and you kind of gain experience points or XP and you use that to level up your character. Which is, you know, pretty much like other, other game modes or, or like Superstar mode or like an NBA 2K My Player mode. It's pretty much like that on steroids. All right, now here's how it works. Like I said, I'll give you all the features of it and all the aspects and then we'll go over a scenario and bring it all together. So it all starts with, it all starts with somebody creating a league. So let's say I create a league called the Madden Mastermind League. Now, people can join that league and play as any player or any coach in the NFL. But it doesn't it doesn't stop there. They can play as any coach or player, but those players they can also play as a fictional character that they create. Um, an actual player that's in the league now, any player or a legend it has to be a rookie legend though so they can play as maybe a rookie barry sanders a rookie walter payton they can also play as just maybe a peyton manning or ray lewis who are towards the end of their careers or they can create their own character you know uh mr you know mr king dingling the new running back whatever they can create their own character as well now once that character is picked now, obviously, this would be if you have a fictional character, then you want to choose a backstory and a player type. Now, those back that backstory and the player type is going to determine your starting ratings and your look. Now, then from there is your job to level up that character through, through weekly, seasonal, and career milestones. So, you know, weekly goals might be gain 100 yards rushing if you're a running back, something like that. Maybe you're a uh, D lineman, get uh, 1.5 sacks or something like that. And as you meet those goals, you're gonna you're gonna gain experience points, seasonal goals. Maybe it's to make the pro uh, pro bowl. A uh, career milestone might be, you know, all time rushing leader, something like that. And as you gain those goals, you'll gain experience points. Now you can also gain experience points by hitting practice mode, and they'll give you different scenarios based on your position, different drill type things. And as you complete those, you also gain experience points that you use to level up your character. And with this whole mode, the reason they combined all three is they're really trying to uh, cash in on replayability which in my opinion is something that's really been lacked you know i'm more of an online guy so i go real hard i've tried the the online franchises for once this year but look we're looking at what is june and i almost can't stand to play the game going into madden 13 i think i may still be having fun this time of the year and this is what they're doing to improve replayability. They're trying to create that feel by adding emotion and storylines that's going to get you more emotional, you know, emotionally connected to your player. 
so basically they're trying to replicate the nfl emotion by they 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 included two media systems that I think is awesome. The first one is articles. So after a game, you know, you'll have like a little home home screen for the for the connected careers, and you'll see articles on injuries, trades, drafts, things like that. Now remember, this is all with your friends. It can be offline if you want to, but let's say I'm in a league with ten of my friends, and my other friend who is, you know, the hot rookie middle linebacker out of Syracuse, and then he gets injured and he, you know, ends up breaking his soul and he's out for the rest of his life i'm gonna see an article on it and i can read it be like damn that sucks okay but then it goes deeper than that they also have a virtual twitter feed created into the game with 13 real world sports broadcasters and journalists so for example skip bayless is gonna be on there that's right hating on twitter so maybe he might tweet be like well dang you know he was a bad person anyway i'm glad he died and then i might retweet it or whatever i don't know if i can retweet it but but basically he's gonna be on twitter too doing what he usually do and i'm, I'm gonna come back to this and kind of paint a scenario for you but just know that that's in the game they also have unique player ratings so basically basically a rating is going to change from team to team which is very very realistic uh, and I see this I've seen this personally on my favorite team the Eagles you know we draft or we you know through free agent free agency we acquired uh Namdi Asamoa who was a beast over at the Raiders now he will be a beast this next year but this last season he wasn't so much of a beast because we're a different team different scheme and you know it took him a while to get adjusted so his overall rating didn't just naturally trans transfer over and he was a beast at the Eagles so different you know different ratings will be applied for different teams for example maybe a 4-3 defense versus a 3-4 defense you know your linebacker or a defensive lineman his rating may adjust accordingly same with maybe a running versus passing team if you're a receiving wide or you're a receiving halfback you your rating may not be that high on a ground and pound running team if that makes sense also doing the scouting is different so with their with there being unique player ratings you're not just scouting for ratings you also want a player with with a player type that will fit your type of team so that you can get the best rating possible you don't want to bring like i said maybe a, a hard nose you know running back to a, a pass heavy team where he might have to do some receiving he's not going to have as high of a rating and also the draft will be a live event so let's say there's a you know I, I create my madden mastermind league and there's 32 players in it it'll be a live event for all of us so we all go to the draft and trey wingo will be announcing every pick but also telling the story of that player being picked now they went in they created over 9,000 new players so let's say i draft you know uh, I, I draft a new quarterback trey wingo is going to announce like all right well this is the quarterback this is his backstory and give us all that information now those are the that's the basic i basically covered all the features now let me put all those together in a scenario so you can try to feel the vibe that they're trying to bring all right so let's go let's let's start at the draft all right oh, we'll start at the end of the season maybe i had the worst ranked team all right i had i had the colts all right and i was the head coach okay let's say i created my own head coach and i and i you know i was coaching over at the colts and we had the worst rating so we had the first draft pick now we start scouting uh, a you know a big prospect, uh, a a quarterback that's just looking really good. Maybe he's coming out of Miami. All right, so we start scouting and we start unlocking, you know, different stats on him to try and get a better look at him. Now maybe now there might be a tweet that goes out letting all the other players. Let me maybe Skip Bayless sends a tweet and like, uh oh, it really looks like the Colts are looking at this new quarterback. We'll just call him Jimmy. You know, Jimmy Jimmy Jammer right now. Like, all right, yo, the Colts are really looking at Jimmy Jammer. And it's looking like he might be the first overall pick. So now the whole league is alerted to what I've been doing. And now they got their eye on me and they may be doing something to try to influence that or whatever. Um, so, okay, now we'll go into the draft. Before the draft, let's say the combine. Maybe Jimmy Jammer, he's running, he's, he's throwing some passes, working out of the combine, and he ends up throwing his shoulder out. I don't know all the different shoulder injuries, but he has a pretty bad one, a bad injury to his shoulder. And because of that, his rating is going to drop. But maybe we've been scouting him for so long, we really like his backstory, and I've become a little bit emotionally attached to this guy. So I still, I still go ahead and pick Jimmy Jammer up first overall. After I do that, you know, Trey Wingo's gonna hop on and tell his backstory. All right, Jimmy Jammer went to the combine, broke his shoulder, but you know, Colts still had faith in him, and they drafted him. 
then Skip Bayless is going to hop on Twitter like, oh, they're so stupid. Jimmy Jammer, you know, his, his shoulders hurt. That might, you know, that might plague his, his whole career. And he doesn't even fit their type of scheme anyway. So they're just stupid for that. And that's everything coming together and coming into one crazy mode that I think we're all going to like. And then it even goes deeper when you talk about the Infinity Engine and the real-time physics. Maybe because of how those physics play out, Jimmy Jammer takes a certain kind of hit and how the physics work. He ends up, you know, he ends up hurting his shoulder again. And then Skip Bayless is back on Twitter saying, I told you so. And, and that's all good. But see, here's the thing. Let's say I was playing as Jimmy Jammer and... I get hurt or maybe I'm just not having fun playing with him any, anymore. I can retire as Jimmy Jammer and come back into that league as another player. So I don't have to end the whole league. You know, everyone still keeps going. I'm thinking indefinitely. Um, but then I can just come back as whatever player I want. Maybe like maybe I'm like, all right, cool, I'm done with the quarterback. I'll be a kicker because that just sounds fun for some reason that I can come back as a kicker. So that is... You know, the connected careers in a whole, it's, you know, it's superstar mode, it's online franchise, it's offline franchise, all combined into one. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you excited for it? Does it seem like it's not really going to work out? In my opinion, I have faith in it. Obviously, this is the first year. They did say a few things that I think might be heartbreakers for people. You can't import a, a draft class in this mode, so... You know, you won't be able to import your Road to Glory character from NCAA, which which would be awesome. But th what they said was that they want to do everything perfect with this mode. They don't want to just half-ass half, half -ass something and throw it in there. So they skipped on it this year. They're going to try maybe for next year. But when they do do it, when they do add to this, it's going to be legit and it's going to be perfect. So they skipped on it this year. Uh, I believe there was something else that they skipped on that I may not be remember. Oh, fantasy draft. You can't do a fantasy draft in this mode. You got to keep the real teams um, because, they again, they wanted to have it be perfect, and they didn't want to half-ass anything. So those two aspects won't be in the mode. But besides that, you know, let me know. What do you think? Are you excited about it? Do you think it's going to play out? Do you think it really is the first true RPG sports game? I know a lot of people are big into the My Player mode on NBA 2K. Do you think it's better than that? And uh, maybe brainstorm some of your own scenarios that you could see happening and put those in the comment section. If you have any more information on this game mode that I didn't include, please put that in the comments as well. So anyone watching can, you know, get more information and learn in the comment section. And feel free to add a video response if you have a video, you know, adding to this. Or maybe just your own video with your own views on this video. Leave that as a video response. I'll accept it. But uh, that's basically it, y'all. If you want to know more on the Infinity, uh, you know, the new Infinity engine and the real-time physics, watch the other video. But that's it for the connected careers. I'm out. Leave, leave your feedback in the comment section. But till next time, God first, God bless. <laughs>